and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Hannah if you're new here and I just turned 18 recently which is very exciting. I have always been one to love milestones. I love the holidays, I love the new year, I love birthdays. Any reason to celebrate and make a milestone out of it, like that is me, like anniversaries, anything like that. I love them. And so for me, growing up birthdays uh, are always a pretty big deal. Um, I have my mom to thank for that. Um, but personally, I like to make them a big deal in my goal setting because I think, okay, just like the new year, my birthday, even though it's only a few months before the new year, um, is like a whole way to reset. Same with like the school year. I make new school year goals, I make birthday goals, and then I have new year goals. So I take the whole resolution thing to a whole nother level. But I really like them because even if I don't reach that resolution or that goal, it helps me to be true to myself. Like, yes, that is what I want in life. That is my goal. That is what um, I'm working towards and what I love in life and so it helps shape me as a person so I'm gonna be sharing you not only my goals for year 18 but I recently heard in the woman work and worth podcast this new way to like set resolutions and I love it so I'm gonna be telling you three different categories the first is things to try in this next year the second is things to stop in this next year and three things to continue while I'm 18. So I have about half of my list here with me. I have some more personal ones and some other ones I'm still going to come up with, but I wanted to share these with you and I encourage you guys to write these down too, even if it's not your birthday or not New Year's that you're watching this on. Just take the time, write down these three categories, list your things, and yeah, I think it's a great mind mapping exercise for your year. The first thing I'm going to do is things to continue. These are pretty simple. The first thing I wanna continue is posting videos, blogs, and podcasts. Right now I'm putting out so much content and I love doing that for you guys. And I wanna continue with that, um, posting once or twice a week on my YouTube, one or two blog posts a week, and a podcast every week. A little fitness one is going to weekly hot yoga. I recently got unlimited and I need to use that. So I wanna continue going to hot yoga a lot because that's like my favorite way of exercise. Three, I wanna continue trying new trends, whether that's hair, makeup, fashion. I love trying new styles and things. Not that I follow every fashion trend that comes out, I sort of cater it to what I know will look best on me, but I love trying new trends with my look and my style. So I wanna continue doing that and never get bored with what I wear, what I eat, whatever it is. The next thing I'm gonna say is things I want to stop in my, while I'm 18. The first one is doubting myself. Something this year has shown me, just 2017 and being 17, um, was really there's endless opportunities that are not just out there for other people but are out there for me and I'm sure there's so many opportunities that I haven't even uh, come across yet that are there for me in the future and I never want to doubt myself because I never want to miss one of those opportunities. So to sort of take life and just let it happen and don't doubt myself whenever an opportunity or a situation arises. Two is I want to stop putting others' opinions before me. Obviously, I want to take in the opinions of those I love, family, close friends, uh, mentors, people like that. But I mean, that's what we're called to do as Christians. We're called to love and put others before us. But it got to the point sometimes, and not just when I was 17, but all my life, where I would put uh, those other people um, and what they thought of me before what I thought of me or what God thought of me. And I just know that's not a place I want to be or go back to. So putting what I know God thinks of me and what I want to think of myself, I want that to be the positive. And I want that to matter most other than just other people's opinions, whether online or in person. So yes. <laughs> the thing I want to stop is hating and neglecting schoolwork. With my YouTube and my business, I just, when I get home, all I wanna do is focus on this because it's my passion. And I will sometimes neglect doing homework or schoolwork. I get it done, but it's not to the best of my ability, not, especially as I'm going into college. I really need to um, put school first. Okay, so now for the fun ones. Now, things I want to try while I'm 18. The first one, I wanna try writing a book. I wanna either be, um, create an ebook or hopefully get a book deal and have a real published book I think would be the most awesome thing. And that was my goal for 2017, 2018, but with everything going on, I really just wanna start it. Like that's gonna be my thing to try, is start writing it and start working hard on that and just see where it ends up. I wanna try doing my own road trips. I've done a lot of road trips with friends and families and my mom and parents, but I wanna try a road trip where it's just me and friends or just me. That may be like when I'm in college, like the beginning of next school year, but we'll see. I want to narrow down my style and wardrobe. So my style does change a lot, like I like trying in all the new trends, but I really wanna like narrow in on what my style is and get rid of pieces in my wardrobe that don't like line up with that style. So that's something I've worked on for a while, but I really wanna try that out this year. 
And my last one is things I want to try while 18 is to read more books. I just picked up some new books and I go through phases where I'm like, yes, read, read a new bu book every week. I'll go through like little downsports where I'm like, mm, I really just want to watch Netflix. I don't want to read. And then I'm like reading. Yes, it's the best thing in the world. So I just want to like stick to it and read a new book every month is going to be my goal. So guys, those, that was the first part of my things I want to stop, continue and try in t my year 2018 as I'm 18 in 2018 too. Let me know what fall videos you guys want to see. I have a lot planned. I'm very, very excited for them, um, but I want you guys to be excited too. So let me know what you want to see, and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay happy, guys. Bye. Peace out.